An Akron family wasn't home when an SUV crashed through their house overnight. They've only lived there three months, and the driver said her brakes failed. Tonight, the driver's listed in serious but stable condition. Well, obviously, losing your brakes can be a terrifying experience. You might be wondering if there's any way you can be prepared for such an event. Right, Lee. Dave Arnold spent the day in Cuyahoga Falls with the nationally recognized drive team. Their experts have some life-saving advice. Driver training experts at the Drive Team Incorporated in Cuyahoga Falls are equipped to train drivers at all levels to think fast. We travel throughout the United States doing training. That's why we approach the Drive Team for some on your side tips in case your brakes go out. As I'm going down the road and I lose my brakes or I have brake failure, one of the first things I want to do is again apply as much pressure as necessary. Second, I want to pump those brakes if that's not working for me. I can use my emergency brake. Thirdly, I want to keep my vision down the road. Not having brakes is definitely a scary thing. Keeping it together during a brake failure is a key factor. So Drew has five points of advice to prepare yourself or to pass on to those young drivers in your home. We use the three to four second rule. Three to four seconds between the vehicle that's in front of you and yourself. That gives me a space cushion. The first tip you want to do if you do have brake failure is to apply as much brake pressure as necessary. In some instances, you may want to pump the brakes, which will allow you to get that pressure. If I do have brake failure, I have the option of shifting into second gear. As you can see, it slows the vehicle down. And then I can shift into first, slowing my vehicle down even more. And if you've got a standard vehicle, for instance, I'm in fourth gear, I want to downshift into third, into second to get that vehicle slowed down. The next tip would to be apply the emergency brake if necessary. This is a cable tied to your pads or rotors. It is using the pressure there to apply the brakes and I'm able to get the vehicle slowed down. I know these are a lot of tips, but the key to this is not to panic. Stay calm in these types of situations to keep yourself and others out of harm's way. Live on 5 in Summit County, I'm Dave Arnold. And here's another tip to slow you down if your brakes fail in your neighborhood and you use someone's hedges. Why? Because it will slow you down while diminishing any chance of a serious impact. For a link to the Drive Team Driver School and what they offer, go to newnet5.com.